Hey Parkside lovers, all handmade here with another video for you. I'm not sure how many of you are aware, but not long ago Lido started selling their 20 volt batteries with new and improved internal design. I have to admit that uh, just recently I've realized about this change and it was under my nose all that time. Never mind that, here I have both batteries, the old one and the new one with the improved internal design. As you can see, there's obvious difference even in the cardboard boxes. The old one has a bigger and more bulkier box. Also, the part number, the new one is a B3. Now, let's take a closer look at the box of the new battery. The first thing that catches my eye is this cell balancing inscription, longer battery life, increased lifespan, blah, blah, blah. The interesting thing is that the old battery with the old design also possess the cell balancing function in its BMS. If you visit Lidl.de and navigate to the page selling these batteries, you'll notice that Lidl claims they have active cell balancing technology. Now, currently in the world, there are two cell balancing technologies in use, active and passive. Passive is relatively cheap, relatively simple to design and manufacture, and it's mostly used in such battery packs. It utilizes a shunting resistor to dissipate the excessive energy as a heat, as an energy loss. Let me show you an example of such circuitry. This is a BMS from the old style 20 volt batteries. It has passive cell balancing incorporated in it. So R21 to R17 are the shunting resistors, Q10 to Q6 are the MOSFETs and this is the microcontroller that is controlling the MOSFETs. Unfortunately there is absolutely no information about this LG blah 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 on the internet and it's really hard to tell what other function it has. On the other hand, there are no energy losses with the active cell balancing technology. It uh, transfers the excessive energy from one cell to another. So it's a really cool technology, but uh, of course it's uh, a little bit more expensive. It uh, needs a little bit more elements to realize. I'm not saying that Lido is incapable of incorporating such technology in their batteries, but um, Lido and Parkside are not famous with their expensive products, they're famous with their cheap products, so I really doubt that there's an active cell balancing technology in the new batteries, but when we open it, we'll see what we have inside. And As you can see, no difference at all. Maybe this one over here has a brighter LED indicator or maybe it's charged a little bit more, I'm not sure. Now, the only difference is over here at the bottom of the batteries, where you can see there is a different label with a QR code on it. Four thousand milliamps per hour, eighty watts hour. And I don't see any other difference. This is the chemical structure of the battery cells. They're absolutely the same. Another interesting thing to mention is inside the manuals of the two batteries. This is the manual for the A3 battery, the old design. 
and this is the manual for the battery battery the new design so inside those manuals we can find information about the charging times of the batteries depending on the charger type we are looking in the new manual so using the PLG 20 a1 charger the battery battery needs 19 minutes to fully charge using the same charger PLG 20 a1 the a3 battery needs 120 minutes to fully charge okay so the new battery has improved electronics so it's charging 30 minutes faster now let's take a look at this row using the PDSLG 20A1 charger the battery battery needs only 60 minutes to fully charge using the same charger the A3 battery again needs only 60 minutes to fully charge and if you ask me something isn't quite right with this information finally it's time to take a look inside those batteries and the first thing that catches my eye is the way how the LED indicator board is attached to the BMS as you can see on the old design it's attached with those two cables and I really had some headaches with them I've even managed to short circuit the BMS that I showed you earlier on the new design Parkside is using this connector over here now let's take a closer look to the two boards yes indeed there is some difference in the circuits I'm not sure if the manufacturer of the cells is the same but their chemical structure is both cells I mean the cells on the board batteries are INR both are rated 2000 milliamps per hour the new cells are rated at 3.6 volts while the old are rated at 3.7 so there is a slight difference there is some difference in this plastic structure holding the cells together there is difference in the casings of the battery packs this is the old design this is the new design let's take a closer look at the BMS of the new battery pack unfortunately I was not able to locate any inductors or capacitors I mean I do see some inductors in capacitors but not in a such configuration for this board to be a, an active cell balancer also I do believe those resistors over here are shunting resistors I managed to google these three elements Q6, Q7 and Q8 and those are dual MOSFETs meaning two transistors in one element making in total six MOSFETs no information about those MOSFETs over here and no information about the microcontroller so my honest opinion is that this is still a passive cell balancing BMS but probably it has some new features incorporated unfortunately without knowing any information about the microcontroller it's really hard to say also the price of the both batteries is the same 30 euros so it's hard for me to believe that Lidl will implement uh, more expensive circuitry and keep the price of the batteries the same here we have a anti-seater mister again no overcurrent protection except this fuse over here so if you manage to blow it you have to disassemble the battery pack and resolve it 
just like I did on this BMS. You should know that I'm no battery guru, so my comments about the new BMS may or may not be absolutely correct, but uh, that's my opinion based on my knowledge. I was thinking of making some charging and discharging tests, but uh, and then I saw that the cells on the old battery are manufactured 2019, while on the new are manufactured 2021, so the tests won't be absolutely correct. Yes, I know the batteries are lithium ion, but still there is some aging. Basically, that's all for me for this video. If you'd like it, thumbs up and subscribe.